hey welcome back to the lecture so so far we have been working with timer peripheral of the microcontroller and we explored various features of the timers isn't it so first we started with exploring time based generation unit of the timer and we covered time based engine and its configuration and to generate different time base and after that we explored the input capture mode of the timer and still we have to explore the output compare mode that is what we call as OC mode PWM mode that is the pulse width modulation and the one pulse mode okay so in this lecture onwards we are going to explore about the output compare mode of the general purpose timer so basically what we are going to do is we are going to work with the output stage of the general purpose timer so so far we worked with the input stage now we are going to work with the output stage now let's move forward and we are going to understand timers output compare mode with an exercise okay so because that will be the best way to explore about the output compare mode instead of uh, simply talking about the theory now the exercise is this one write an application by using timer 2 that's our general purpose timer to produce square waveforms of 500 hertz 1 kilohertz 2 and 4 kilohertz on four different output channels okay so that is our exercise that means we are going to utilize all the four channels of the timer to peripheral as output and we are going to produce square waveforms of different frequencies most of the students they will get confused by looking at this diagram that this engine has four separate uh, input channels and four output channels that is actually wrong okay so the general purpose timer has only four channels so if you are using that for input capture stage then it will be used as inputs okay so it will be configured as inputs and if you are using the same channels for output compare stage then those channels will be configured as output so this timer doesn't have you know eight channels so it has only four channels either you can use it as an output or you can use it as input great all right so how are we going to produce waveforms using output compare mode okay so that's really an important question isn't it now if you have understood the input capture mode then understanding this mode is really really simple okay so in the input capture we had channel 1 configured as input and at the channel 1 we supplied some input signal isn't it right and whenever the configured event or configured edge was detected right for example let's consider the rising edge okay so when the rising edge was detected the value of the counter that is the count register of the timer was saved into the capture and compare register right and interrupt was triggered so now output compare mode is exactly reverse of it so here what we are going to do is we are going to make this channel as output isn't it right so this waveform we have to produce so we are going to pre-store some value in the CCR1 register okay so that we call as pulse okay pulse value we are going to pre-store some value into the CCR1 and then we are going to trigger the timer so when we trigger the timer when the value of the count register matches with the CR1 with the capture and compare register of the channel the output channel will be toggled if it is low then it will be made high and after that we have to again change the pulse value of the ccr1 register so we have to put another pulse value and whenever count reaches here okay so again the output will get toggled and it will continue like that producing the waveform on the output channel and this pulse width you can control 
by this false value. So I hope you understood how we are going to produce the waveform. So in this mode, we are going to pre-store the pulse value, the required pulse value into the CCR1 register, then trigger the timer. Whenever the counter matches with that value, the output channel state will be toggled. So, so whenever the match is detected, remember that you are going to receive an interrupt, okay? And your control will come to the interrupt handler and you have to again change the CCR1. Suppose if the pulse value is let's say 40 and when the count value matches 40 you are going to get an interrupt output will be toggled here and in the interrupt handler you have to immediately change the value of CCR1 okay so you have to make it as 80 so that when count reaches 80 it is again going to toggle the output channel so high so high becomes low okay and another interrupt will be triggered here and in the interrupt handler you have to make CCR1 as 120 and when the count value reaches 120 that output channel will be toggled again low to high and again you will receive an interrupt okay so continuously in the interrupt handler you have to keep changing the CR1 value so that you get the continuous signal on the output channel okay so you, you have to do this for every channel because we are going to produce four different waveforms on four different channels hope you understood this and let me know if you have any questions it is very simple okay so I will explain you through code how to implement this and if you have any doubts it will get clarified and I will see you in the next lecture